Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I wanted to do a clean with me because my house was disgusting. I mean not as bad as I've seen everybody else's, you know, but it's time. So I was going to clean my house anyway and I just wanted to do this for those people out there that are like me and that love to watch people clean. I can sit here for hours and watch people clean. And I literally do. So I'm starting downstairs because this is my basement. The floors were just really gross because I have two puppies right now. They're not completely trained, but I'm working on it. And this vacuum right here literally crapped out on me halfway through me realizing that it wasn't sucking anything up. Well, it was, it was sucking things up, but it wasn't keeping them, like, it was spitting them out the back. So, yeah. Trash. Do you see all that stuff that's still there on the floor? That is what the vacuum was not getting for me. But I, I don't know why I kept vacuuming. Anyways, yeah, my dogs are down here at night. They get into their cages. I have two puppies i have a black lab retriever and i have a mixed breed of like shepherd and maybe pit bull don't really know i learned my lesson not to buy cheap vacuums um this next vacuum that you're gonna see was actually what a hundred dollars at target which is still pretty cheap but I'm not gonna go and like buy a Dyson vacuum. I know they look wonderful and I've seen people use them. They look amazing and like they really pick up the crap and but I can't afford that. <laughs> and I don't need anything extravagant. I just need a vacuum that works. So here you see me cleaning the carpets. Um yeah. This vacuum did amazing. Um I'm so happy that we made this purchase, and I knew that Target would have the right thing for us. This is not sponsored, <laughs> by the way. You see puppy pads in the back? Like, it's a mess. Do you see all that stuff on the counter? Oh, God. where she spends most of her time. 
so there's a ton of her hair on there. You will see in just a second how much hair I actually got off with this tool that I put on the, you know, suction thingy. It was insane. And normally I wouldn't care about this furniture, but because she's always on there, I decided to go ahead My bar countertop was just full of miscellaneous things, a Playboy magazine that was left from the previous owner, that disgusting cup which had mold in it that my boyfriend left down there. I, yeah, did not want to touch that, but whatever. <laughs> um, so I just took care of all the cardboard boxes that we get from Sam's and all the other trash that was up there. And then I disinfected and wiped it down with a Clorox wipe. were gifts from Christmas and our housewarming party and all that stuff. Um, puppy pads, things I just wanted to move out of the way. I just throw things everywhere. I'm guilty and we all are so don't act like you're not guilty of throwing crap all over the place. Um, but I just wanted to get my recliner clean. Again, no one lays on this, no one sits on it at the moment but I just wanted to get it vacuumed. My cat may or may not get up there, I don't know, but yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wiping my face, it's because I know that there's cobwebs and spider webs all over my downstairs area. I find spiders down there all the time and I don't like to kill them, but I have to because I can't allow a bug to just stay in my house rent free it's just not gonna happen. So I thought there was a cobweb on my face, so that's why I wiped it. <laughs> oh, I think the hardest part about this was getting all of the cat litter off of the stairs. My cat's litter box is right through those brown doors that you see. That's my laundry area. Um, it's unfinished, so that is where she does her business. And then she tracks her litter all over the stairs, like all the way up the stairs. So that was really hard to get, but I think I did pretty good. retractable cord. Oh my god, that vacuum is amazing.
kitchen. There wasn't really much to do in here either. First, I just wanted to get all the crystal light stains, like, you know, the Kool-Aid. My boyfriend stains the counters with that stuff, and he never cleans it up, so that drives me crazy. But I just wanted to get that off the counters. And here, I'm just getting all the grease from cooking and all the grease stains. Please don't pay any attention to the time. Yes, it was very late when I filmed this because I don't care what time it is. I can't sleep in a dirty, dirty house. I had to get my microwave too because what the hell is it with men in their dirty, dirty, sticky fingers? make the bed together. We do a lot of things together. Um, I don't know why, we just do. So I was so ready to get, re to get rid of those red um, sheets. They were horrible. I hated them and I wanted a gray theme for my house. So I got some new sheets. I got some new, um, a new comforter. I got a new bed set. 
and it feels so good to lay on a new bed set. TV stand 
dusty over and over and over again like I dusted it a week ago and here it is again my dog my puppy likes to lay under there on the very bottom shelf because he likes to have cold things on his belly and glass is very cold so I first dust it and then I go in with my wipes and make sure that I got everything and that my puppy Raymond is not getting dust all over him when he lays on there It's mine, at least. And here comes my little bubby and trying to play with me and annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> me. This is just my way of cleaning my table. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm an idiot.
for sure want to clean this couch because this is the couch that everyone lays on. Everyone sits on the dogs, the cats. My boyfriend comes home and is just dirty, disgusting work clothes and just lays right on the couch. Yeah, this was pretty gross. Can you see all of that stuff that's in between my cushions? It's disgusting and it was really hard to clean. But I think that I got the majority of it. My boyfriend came and helped me for a second because the vacuum was so heavy. I was tired of lifting that vacuum. But, um, yeah, anyways, I got the most that I could. Let me know how you think I did because I think I did pretty well considering. Thank you to my vacuum for being so amazing. The dog hair did not come up the way that I wanted it to, like the couch downstairs with the cat hair. I got almost all of that off. Up here, I didn't get much, but, you know, I was a little disappointed. The living room is the first thing that people see when they walk into my house, and I want to make sure that it looks fair and decent. right down into the cushion so yeah that was fun to clean and I did not even notice until I started editing this you will see you will see wait for it the vacuum got sucked to my freaking curtains oh my gosh I didn't even remember that happening
ghost that came off of my furniture and my floors. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. It really helps me out. And I'll see you next time.